Felicia, um, take one. And we are very proud to welcome her to the Academy of Women. <laughs> Felicia, take two. All right, stand by. Janet Ayers has a passion for helping her community, giving her time and support to numerous nonprofit organizations. Janet is the immediate past chair of Centerstone of Tennessee. Her passion and dedication to prevent and cure mental illness and addiction disorders are an inspiration. As president of the Ayers Foundation, Janet and her husband Jim provide financial support for college scholarships and many other programs. The foundation has awarded more than 3,000 college scholarships since 1999. Tireless, passionate, dedicated to serving her community, Janet is a natural, inspirational leader, and we are proud to welcome her to the Academy for Women of Achievement. Of course, I'm going to say my parents, my father, my husband, but I can say with true conviction that the most inspiring voices of my life have all been female. Very strong, educated women, my two grandmothers, my mom, my sisters, my daughter, my soul sister, who I sit out on the back porch and we pray and we've literally raised our daughters together. So it's been a, a, a legion of really strong women who have inspired me through the years. In my personal life, I think my greatest accomplishment has been raising a bright, compassionate young woman. My career, you know, I feel like my career has been so multifaceted. I have operated nursing homes for over 20 years, and you know, we were really innovative. Clearly, our foundation, we've sent over 3,000 students to school. It's not just been the scholarships, it's been the mentors that we've had in the schools, and then I've done a lot of work with Centerstone once I moved to Nashville in rural areas with limited resources, with a lot of ingenuity and education and faith. I think that's the greatest accomplishment is being able to do something with next to nothing. I hope that I've inspired others through my life because I've had so many people to inspire me. Probably the best example I can give is when I talk to our girls at high school. You know, when I was in high school, my last name was Snodgrass. I mean, that alone gives you a lot of material to work with. And I was 4'11". But what I've learned Ordinary people can do extraordinary things. So if that's inspiring others, then yes, I think I have. I really do see the next chapter in my life is that convergence of what I've learned in the healthcare business and what I've learned in, in education and scholarships and mentoring. At the heart of all of it is self-esteem and good, solid mental health. And somehow I think my next chapter is how do I help bring that all together? I'm very blessed. I was a single parent most of my daughter's life. And she's had those moments in her life trying to fill those empty places, those voids in her life with the wrong things. And so we spend a lot of time talking about, one, her education, making sure she finishes it. But the other thing is, you aren't here to please other people. It's one thing to be do good things and to be a good person. But you can't be a good partner. You can't be a good contributor to society if you aren't a whole person all by yourself. I've traveled a lot of places, and if what I've found is universally, everybody wants to be loved, and everybody wants to have, feel like they have self-worth. The outback of Africa, they want the same thing I want. It was about their family and taking care of each other, and so many times we find ourselves thinking we want to change people to be like us, and what I think I've experienced the most is I can always learn so much more that I could ever teach. It took me a while to get there, but I can say the things that bring me the greatest peace and joy is my faith and my family. When the world is chaotic, I can go there and be calm and peaceful and never forget where I came from. There's this great quote by Albert Einstein that says, Strive not for success, but rather to be of value. Your time here is limited, so make sure that it's your own life you're living. <laughs>